So this is how it makes bright light by creating a lens. in our environment. No. This is not the way light should be lit. without trickery. I first started noticing this light brightening inside of the holes of my blinds. And ever since then, there's been more and more of it in our atmosphere. It's just really there. It alters existing light and it changes it into different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Different parts that are dangerous, I believe, and can break our molecular bond of things. That would be very dangerous. We should be careful to not allow it to break apart our earth. Because that could happen. That would be horrible. I don't know how we would ever So I continue to search for truth, and I find it every day. And nobody else is capturing it. I'm the only one. Why is that? Why are more people not figuring this out? Because our Earth is in potential crisis because of this. We've got to save our Earth. We won't survive. Plastic. Is 
big thing. People like to use it. It's easy, it's cheap, and it's lighter and stronger. There's a problem with it. It affects fertility. So that means people will not be able to reproduce. We currently ingest one credit card of plastic a week. That's in our blood. It's in every living thing. This is a reality today. So, what are we doing about it? Are we changing our ways? Are we moving toward a greener planet? What are we just talking about? We could move towards a great future. We really could. Or we could create. It's up to you, because we all contribute to collective thought and where our consciousness is of our world around us. If we want to become more evolved, we must remember that we don't know it all. So when somebody presents a new idea to you, consider it. Don't doubt it first. And then you can do research and doubt all you want. But at least listen to the idea first. Do you know why? Because then you'll learn something new and you'll amaze yourself with your own thinking. We are smart animals, humans. When we doubt new things that are told, we miss the whole point of being a lifelong learner. I love science. I figured out so much of my um, experience with science. I would not devote the last three years of my life to accomplishing a created or made up goal. It's very real. I envision a happy 
地不如。Right now, there's too much pain, suffering, and death. Covid 不死。Plan that、uh, is only four years old. They've announced that we might have to live with Covid. That's been advertised. Yes. Tests. Sixty-four years is the estimate. That means that figure is how long the government believes it can keep remote neural monitoring secret. It's their estimate. Because it is the cause of COVID, it's extremely important that those who know that remote neural monitoring is real, to spread that word. Victims like myself are the only ones who are spreading that word. If we're the only ones, and we're discredited with psychiatry because real people are talking inside our heads, that's part of the microwave auditory effect. But people don't see it that way, and psychiatry doesn't see it that way. I don't know why. Because in 1974, it became possible. It causes cancer because it uses microwaves. Same thing that your cell phone uses. Our bodies are electrical. We're an antenna with our frequency that is only our own. Every single thing on the planet that's alive has its own frequency. So the way R and M works is radar detects your frequency. And with that information, they are able to dis、uh, disable your natural defense to microwaves. So my defense is down, and that means I get hit with microwaves. So that. Makes my skull vibrate, which makes my inner ear vibrate. Sound normally travels through the ear canal and goes into it, but with remote neural monitoring, they're able to get around that because the inner ear does vibrate when sound waves hit it, coming in through the ear canal. But it can also be produced sound by making your skull vibrate because it's attached. That's how V two K works. It's very simple, but people don't know it.
we should move forward in time. We really should. We can. All we gotta do is have a little bit of faith that we'll be all right. Can we do that? With this occurring, is it really possible to see what God created? No, because it's covered up. If it's covered up, are we able to worship? Gratefulness. Or not. If we can't see God, then we won't follow Him. I want my environment to return to the way He used to be. Because the altered reality is not in alignment with God. What this is, is making us fooled by something. I don't want my environment to be filled with things. I want to be filled with truth. Truth and things. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to share with you my thoughts. While we still have freedom of speech, when are people going to start standing up for the rights of others? Maybe today. Spread the word.